Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. The guys over at Geekforce have uh, sent me an old Slave 1 that they had in their uh, toy collection and have asked me to restore it. Now normally Slave 1s are pretty easy vehicles to fix. They just generally are missing parts and a bit dirty and need a good clean up. But this one has an interesting thing that I have never seen before. As you can see here, it's a pretty reasonable Slave 1. It's got a fair amount of scratching to the cockpit glass. Nothing is broken on it. All the stickers have uh, long since it's gone it's just got a load of sticker residue but the one thing it is missing if I uh, turn this round the uh, latch mechanism that should be at the top of this handle at the back is completely gone now the guys don't know uh, where this went or uh, how it disappeared but it isn't there so um, uh, one of the jobs that we've got to do for uh, restoring this uh, ship is to find a replacement latch mechanism but I think the first thing we need to do is to take this all apart so that we can give it a good clean and remove the uh, sticker residue and any sort of remaining stickers that, that are left on it and clean this all back so that it's just a nice clean empty Slave 1 shell. So to get Slave 1 apart there are a few bits that you need to remove. Obviously remove all the door sections and uh, bits that are left on it. Uh, this is missing uh, the black ramp but does have the grey panel door. It also doesn't have the Hanning carbonite block. Uh, so we have to remove the wings. Now these just take a bit of brute force to pull them off. That's a fairly straightforward job as is the one on the other side. Just pull them. Uh, the harder bit to remove is the guns on the back. These are held on uh, with tiny little clips inside and you can break the clips if you're not too careful. So the best way to do it is get a small flathead screwdriver and just sort of pinch uh, one side of the clip in a bit. Uh, it is a little bit hard to do but you can in the end just sort of uh, wiggle those in and the gun will pop off. So this is not the easiest thing to do on camera. There we go, that's one off. Now I've just got to do the other side uh, and then we can start unscrewing the ship. There's one final thing we need to remove before we can actually get to the screws and that is the cockpit section. It's held on with a couple of clips, two at the front here and two just at the back before it sort of becomes the solid part of the uh, body. So all we've got to do is gently squeeze this uh, together. You don't want to squeeze too hard because it has a tendency to break. If you just squeeze you can see the cockpit section just lifts off like that. And now we have access to all these screw holes. There's a few screw holes on one side of it but before you get to those you need to unscrew the bottom section because there is a screw hidden behind this little panel here so uh, just remove these six screws on the bottom uh, and then you can get to the side panel so let's go ahead and get these screws undone. So with all the screws removed off the bottom you can now pull off the bottom panel uh, and this is where the latch section should be that is missing on this slave one. It actually goes underneath this green panel which we will remove in a minute uh, but uh, it's just completely missing on this slave one. Uh, you can now remove the wing post like so uh, and then we can start to unscrew uh, the rest of the ship as you can see there is a screw hole there. Uh, and another one at the back which was hidden by the uh, bottom section and once we've got all those screws the whole ship uh, just comes apart. So now I've removed all the screws we can now just carefully uh, prise this, uh, the two sides of the ship apart and actually uh, having sort of taken this apart I can see that there are a few areas that are actually broken a little bit more than I was imagining. Uh, this screw hole here it should have as you can see there a tiny lip inside it. Uh, this one has uh, snapped away so that screw doesn't actually hold it in place so that will need fixing as well. Uh, and here is the back uh, sort of gun section again it's just a, a peg with a sort of gear mechanism on it. On the other side of the ship there's a piece of plastic and that's the gear rubs against that to make a clicking noise. Then we have the cockpit section that uh, Boba Fett sits in. This is, isn't held in place with any screws so we can just pull that out. And now the whole of the ship is apart so this can all be cleaned quite nicely. So the final part of the ship we need to take apart is where the latch mechanism uh, that should be here on the back uh, goes. It's missing on this one. This is not screwed in place. It's held on by two rather weak looking pegs that you can see there. So I think the easiest way to uh, remove this is to use a small screwdriver and just gently lever it up from side to side. And hopefully we can do that without uh, breaking the pegs. But uh, we'll see. It's pretty tight on unfortunately. Oh, no, it is It is going. There we go. It's one side done. 
and then the other side. So there we go, that's the inner panel removed. And as you can see, there are these two quite small pegs that uh, do look like they could break quite easily. I think if we had broken those, we would have had to have glued this panel back in place, but luckily that is unbroken. So there we go, that's slave one all apart. So before I go ahead and do the cleaning, I actually have been searching around quite a lot to see if I can find the replacement trigger. I found one guy selling one on eBay in America, but the postage to the UK was so prohibitive, uh, it actually turned out it was cheaper for me to buy a donor slave one uh, and just take this apart and use the uh, bits I need from this to fix uh, the Geek Force guy's uh, slave one. So here is the donor slave one. As you can see, it's absolutely filthy. It looks like it's been dunked. Uh, well, it looks like it's been buried, to be honest. It's so filthy. But it does have the latch mechanism that I need here. And it also has some other parts that look like uh, they're in slightly better condition than the one from the guys at Geekfors. Uh, this cockpit, although, although uh, filthy, uh, actually doesn't look quite a scratch, so I might use that one instead. So uh, I'm going to take this ship completely apart as well. We can clean them both at the same time, and then I can pick and choose the best bits from each ship uh, to make one complete one. The body of this one I don't think will be uh, one that we will use because there's actually uh, quite a kind of crack in this corner here and some quite nasty sort of stress marks on this side where it's uh, been played with quite heavily. Um, so I think I'm going to use the original body from the uh, Geek Force Guys Slave 1 but uh, other parts will be taken out of this ship. So having taken the donor ship apart, here you can see this is the trigger mechanism that was missing from uh, the Geek Force uh, Slave 1. So that's perfect, that's exactly what I need. And I was also managed to save one single original sticker. This is the sticker that is inside the glass part of the cockpit. And that is actually in really nice condition. So I'm going to save that and I'm going to reuse that on the, uh, the uh, final version of the ship. All other stickers will have to be uh, replacement ones, but uh, it's quite nice to just have uh, one original sticker that I can stick uh, back on the ship. So uh, let's go ahead and get uh, Slave 1 all cleaned up. So now I've given everything a good wash, this is the best bits of the two Slave ones I have. I've washed everything thoroughly using hot soapy water, I've removed sticker residue with uh, lighter fluid. If you haven't seen me do that before then check out some of my other videos. I find lighter fluid the best way of removing the sort of sticky residue that's left by the stickers. It's also very good for removing sort of small pen marks as well, so any sort of uh, minor rubs that have been left on, uh, that's all been removed as well. So this is the best of the two ships I have, so it's now time to start putting this back together. First up we're going to put the back section of the ship together and this uh, is the wing mechanism that was missing from the Geek Force guys ship uh, and this is what I've removed from my donor ship. As you can see it's a very strange piece and it really isn't the sort of thing that I would imagine is lost off most of uh, these uh, slave ones. It's a very strange thing to have been removed. So anyway we've got to put this back together. We've got the green section with the two pegs if you remember from earlier and you just have to slot this uh, little uh, gizmo in and there's a little uh, two little slots that it goes into and that rotates down and then we can uh, just push this back into place onto the two pegs uh, you have to push this on fairly snugly like so until it snaps in place uh, and that's uh, the back section ready now we can put the main body section together. Uh, you have to do the rear guns. Uh, this uh, has a small cog, as you can see here, which has got a few little notches that uh, coincide with the notches on the sort of gun peg post that I have here. So you have to slot those two bits like so. You end up with uh, you know a gear right in the middle, and this has to go through the hole at the back. It appears that it can actually go around either way, uh, but from what I remember, uh, the loose gear side actually went onto uh, this little. Uh, ticker thing here so uh, we'll put that in like so and that way when that rotates now you can hear it clicks again uh, and then we have to put in the uh, sort of cockpit seat section that uh, Boba Fett sits in again it's a pretty straightforward thing to do because um, you've just got two pegs on either side and another one in the middle there uh, all we've got to do is slot this peg so that it goes on just 
where the wings pop out there uh, and you can see that that sort of fits onto the little clicker uh, and then we can put the other side on and everything should fit together so I have the other side here uh, that little peg needs to come out of this hole so it's fairly easy to sort of manhandle this together making sure everything lines up inside let's just do that again I say it's fairly easy it's always easier without the camera in the way if I just hold those two bits together you can see it should be able to get everything all lined up there we go like so uh, and now we can start screwing this together when I took this ship apart I noted that, that the uh, front uh, section there didn't join properly because the screw was coming out of the hole uh, and actually looking at the pile of screws that came out of this ship there are two different size heads on these screws I'm guessing maybe the wrong screw had been used uh, to screw into that hole I'm going to use this larger headed screw and to see if that actually uh, holds the front of the ship together hopefully it will uh, if it doesn't to be honest I'm not actually that worried because uh, this part the front part of the ship is held together um, Actually, it looks like it's working anyway, so the bigger head screw works. But the front part of the ship is held together by uh, two extra sort of bits that stick out this side, so it shouldn't be a problem. But anyway, let's go ahead and screw the whole of the ship together now. Once the top section is all screwed together, you can then attach the top section to the bottom section, but you have to put the wing arm in. Now, this uh, only goes round one way, and it's pretty obvious which way round that is. If you look at the bottom of the ship, there is a stopper on one side, and this stops the metal weight from rotating any further backwards. So you have to slot this wing in uh, like so, so that it, the metal section hits that stopper. And uh, then you can attach the top uh, via the screws on the underside of the ship. If I put the glass canopy back on, as you can see, this one is uh, pretty scratched up. I thought I'd try and see if I could improve some of the scratches on this. So I'm going to try some uh, tea cut. This is the uh, colour restore stuff that you use on cars, and it's a mild abrasive and also slightly waxy. So um, I was going to try and see if I can use this. If I just open it up. Uh, I've got a, a blue cloth here, uh, just a sort of this uh, kitchen cloth, really. And I'm going to dab a little bit of um, tea cut on that and gently work it into the plastic and see if this can improve the finish and take away some of these scratches. This may take quite a while because it's going to need quite a lot of buffing, but uh, hope, I'm hoping that this actually does prove to do uh, a reasonable job on the plastic. So it's about sort of five minutes worth there of buffing with the teacup. It's actually made quite a difference. It's still, you know, fairly scratched, but it was a really quite a scratch cockpit uh, cover to start with. But it's certainly looking much better. There's much more of a shine to it now. And a lot of these finer scratches have gone completely. I did the other one. And I've, got, I've obviously got two cockpit covers here. And they've both come out looking an awful lot better. They're never going to win prizes, certainly, but uh, they do look much, much better. So it's going to actually be hard to choose which one of these I put on the ship. But um, certainly tea cuts are good, a good way of cleaning up the cockpit on their Slave 1. And so here we have Slave 1 all put back together, having had everything cleaned and uh, sort of sorted out. It's starting to look pretty nice. As you can see, the cockpit doesn't look too bad. It's quite nice and shiny now. Most of the, the sort of the smaller scratches are gone. There's a few big marks in it, but uh, you can't get rid of all of them. And if I hold this up uh, this way, it's hard to see with this camera, but if I hold the button in, you can see the wing mechanism works. And if I let go, the wings fold back. So that's that part of uh, the Slave 1 all done. So next job is to make some uh, replacement stickers for it. Now I've had a quick search online and I found a scan of the original sticker sheet so I'm going to take that into Photoshop and tidy it up and make it a little bit easier to cut out because the original stickers were obviously uh, already cut out on the sheet and so had a lot of excess colour around where you were to uh, remove the stickers. It just makes it quite hard to actually see what the shapes are so I'm going to sort those out in Photoshop and I will come back and uh, we can apply some stickers to uh, Geek Forces Slave 1 and get it looking as good as new. So I've now printed out some uh, replacement stickers. I printed these out on a uh, glossy, sticky-backed uh, sort of photo quality paper. And they've actually come out pretty nicely. In the end, I didn't bother making uh, my own version of the sticker sheets. I found someone had already done uh, pretty much what I wanted to. So I've only modified it slightly. So uh, the uh, sticker image file is available quite easily online. You've just got to do a quick search for it. So I've got these here, just need to cut them out. Again, quick search online and I've found uh, that there is the sticker instruction guide that uh, came with the original ship so I now know where to 
put them all. So I'm going to just uh, sit here. It's going to take a little while, cut all of these out and place them onto the uh, restored slave one. And so here we have the finished slave one. As you can see, it's looking really nice. I'm really pleased with how this one has come out. Let me just move Boba Fett out of the way. You can see Han in carbonite. Uh, this just needed uh, new stickers adding to it. So I've just uh, cut those and stuck them on the side just to finish that off. Uh, the ship uh, now has all stickers in place and the wings actually work. If I rotate this up now, you can see that I can uh, press the button on the back, lock them in place, and then as I let go, they float back down again. So that all works, and I found a uh, replacement uh, rear ramp. This is probably one of the hardest bits to find on a slave one. It's generally missing, and uh, when you see them for sale, people do ask a premium, so quite often it's cheaper just to buy a complete slave one again. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's a nice ship to finish, and it's a great ship. Really uh, do like this ship. Uh, check out my review if you haven't seen that already to uh, see you my full review of it. Uh, but there you go, it's all finished. The uh, ship that Geekforce sent over is now back and ready to go on display. So hope that's been of interest to you, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Poloi. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Poloi on Twitter and Facebook.